This conference will now be recorded. Hi everyone. Today we will continue our lesson sound of the second part of uh, our lesson. Uh, write its name please on your notebook. Let's continue. So I will I will share my screen, my computer screen. Okay. Yes. So quality, quality of sound. Look. Uh -huh. The quality of sound, the quality of a musical note is what makes one musical instrument sound different from another. That's, it's called quality of, quality of a musical note. Okay. Then, the, despite different instruments uh, producing a note of the same loudness and pitch, the shape of the wave will be different. Look at uh, red color and blue color. You see that this one, its shape, shape of first one is different from shape of second one. Okay, so it's called quality of sound. Look at this question, please. Let's uh, read and solve it together. Uh, the diagram opposite uh, opposite shows the appearance of a sound wave on an oscilloscope. Draw a second diagram showing the appearance of a sound wave of lower pitch but greater loudness. So pa uh, pause the video and uh, try to solve it, please. Now I will explain this question. First, let, uh, let's look at its answer and I will explain its answer. So look at previous one. It is uh, they are asking lower pitch but greater loudness. Lower pitch but greater loudness. Okay, so it is. So look at first wave and second wave. For first wave, red color you see that they are close together, but blue color they are separated. When they are close together, it means that it has more pitch. Okay. When they are separated, lower pitch. Amplitude, and do you remember we told that amplitude it's <clears throat> uh, maximum dis displacement from resting or equilibrium point. And for blue color, its amplitude is more compared with red color. Okay, so let me explain it uh, on the board. Okay. I will turn on camera and stop sharing screen. Yes. So, how many how many waves do we have in there? See, we have uh, one, two, three, four waves. Okay. So one, two. See. We start from this part, yes, one, two, three, four waves. So this is one wave, yes, look at here, it is one wave. So this is second wave, one, two, three, four waves, yes, see, <clears throat> one wave, First wave, second wave, third wave, and fourth wave. Okay, but for blue color, how many waves? We have two waves. Yes, yeah, we have two waves for blue color. Okay, so see, it is first, how many waves? We have two waves, sorry. So I drew here uh, one wave, see? In here we have one wave, okay? But in there, how many waves do we have? We have two waves, yes? So we need two waves, two waves like this. This is first wave, yes? And this second wave. So now we have two waves. 
<clears throat> let's say that it is x axis and here is y axis okay so uh, at the same time they occurred at the same time yes at the same time for red color how many waves one two three four waves but uh, so for red color number of waves number of waves equals four yes at the same time let's take for example time one second time equals one second so what's frequency uh, do you remember we wrote formula of frequency like this frequency equals n over t or one over period yes so it is four over one second four hertz yes it's for red color what about blue color for blue color how many waves do we have so n equals two uh, we uh, we took same time yes as they occurred at the same time so time equals again time equals one second and frequency equals n over t one over t so what's n two divided by one second so it is two hertz yes so you see that for blue color its frequency is red compared with red color and do you remember we told that more frequency means that more pitch so it means that uh, pitch of uh, red color is more compared with blue color okay and let's look at the their amplitude so amplitude of this is here yes but look at amplitude of second one is it's this part uh, yes here is amplitude but for red color amplitude is here okay yeah so therefore we can say that amplitude of amplitude of uh blue more than amplitude of let's say that it is a1 and it is a2 or red a red and a blue so amplitude of blue color is more than amplitude of amplitude of red color okay <clears throat> that's the explanation of this question explanation of this question uh, pause the video and write its explanation please let's continue yes so it's explanation of this question then measuring frequency using an oscilloscope turn off camera uh-huh yes measuring frequency using an oscilloscope the time taken between peaks on an oscilloscope trace is equal to the uh, time period t of the sound wave okay so it, there is called the period t time period uh, is this part okay and then frequency equals one over period frequency for form of frequency we wrote it when we solved question frequency equals one over period look at the example period equals 0 0.05 second and frequency equals one over 0 0.05 so frequency equals 20 hertz 20 hertz okay question let's solve this question together uh, so read question attentively please the distance between peaks on an oscilloscope trace is four centimeter if the if the oscilloscope time scale is set at one millisecond divided by centimeter calculate the frequency of the sound wave so you see that here is four centimeter yes so a oscilloscope time scale is set uh, look at arrow uh, one millisecond divided by centimeter the frequency of the sound wave so pause the video try to solve it uh, yourself okay uh, later i will explain its solution 
So one millisecond <coughs> per centimeter means that the trace covers one centimeter in one millisecond. One millisecond equals 0 0.001 second. Yes? Time period, they told that time period uh, on the picture, it is four centimeter. So four centimeter times one millisecond divided by centimeter equals four millisecond, 0 0.004 second. Yes? So frequency equals one over period, one over 0 0.004 seconds. So frequency equals 250 hertz. Okay? So let me explain it on the board. Let me explain it on the board. Okay, so okay, let me raise this part. Yes. So look at picture, four centimeter, yes? So it is four centimeter, period is four centimeter. Okay, yes. So, uh, period is four centimeter. Mm -hmm. This is four centimeter. Four centimeter. So time difference between two crests. This here is crest. Yes. What's the name of this point? Crest or peak point. Crest. And here is trough. Trough, trough. Okay, time difference between two crests or two troughs, it's called, here it is period. Okay, symbol of period is T, yes? So, uh, they told that it's four centimeter, period equals four centimeter, one millisecond per centimeter. Oscilloscope time scale is one millisecond per centimeter. Yes? So, one millisecond per centimeter. Okay, now let's calculate period. What's period? Period equals period. We need to calculate period and frequency. First, and we know that relationship between period and frequency, period Frequency equals one over period. They are inversely proportional. Okay? They are inversely proportional. So, let's calculate it. So, period equals one millisecond. How many? Four centimeter. Four centimeter times one millisecond per centimeter. We can cancel centimeter. We will at end four millisecond. It means that milli means that 0 0.001, 0 0.004 second, because it's four millisecond here. And frequency equals uh, one over, due to this formula, frequency equals one over period, one over 0 0.004 second. So it will be 200, 250 hertz, okay? 250 hertz. Uh, so, you also, you must be attentive with this part. When it is, look at here, please. When here is X and here is Y, yes? When here is distance, displacement, and here is this uh, displacement time. When this part is time, look at here, please. So when here is displacement, E, Y axis is displacement, X axis is time, time difference between two crests will give period. But when here is displacement, here is distance, this part equals wavelengths. Okay, so you must be attentive with this part. So always look at X axis. So when here is time, 
this uh, time difference will give period. But when here is uh, distance, so this part will give wavelengths. Okay, it will give wavelengths. Let's continue. Okay. Next, reflection of sound. Reflection of sound. An echo is a reflected sound wave. Look at this question. A misguided child shouts Chelsea at a nearby cliff and hears an echo 1.4 second later. How far away is the, uh, is the cliff? Takes the speed of sound 340 meter per second. So child shouts in this direction. Look at arrow. Uh, sound is going and it's reflected back. Its reflection is called echo. Distance is D, yes, but sound is going and coming back. So pause the video and try to solve it. I will explain its solution. The sound travels to and from the clip, a total distance 2D, yes? Total distance equals 2D uh, because it's going and it's coming back. It's going and coming back. And then uh, speed equals distance divided by time taken. Yes. And uh, distance equals speed divided by time taken. So we need to calculate distance. 340 times 1.4 second will give 476 meter. But it is 2 times D, 2D. Why? Because it's going, see, it's going and coming back. D plus D equals 2D. Yes. So laser, therefore distance to the clip is 238 meter because 476 divided by 2 equals 238 meter. And, uh, let me explain it on the board. So turn on cam camera and stop sharing screen. Okay. So I will raise and I'm going to explain this question, solution of this question. So, imagine that here is wall. This part is wall, okay. And here's source of sound, source of sound. And this distance, here is distance, sound is going, okay, and it is reflect it back. Here is D, yes? And here's also D. So total distance is 2D, yeah? And they told that, they told that uh, speed uh, echo, the, so child hears echo after 1.4 second, okay? So time equals 1.4 second, yes? So this is given part. It's given that. Time equals 1.4 second. And <clears throat> speed of sound, they took speed of sound on air equals 340 meter per second. 340 meter per second, yes? So we need to calculate D. D equals question. D is distance. So formula, what's formula? <clears throat> formula is formula. Distance equals V multiplied by T, yes? So distance equals T multiplied by time taken. And its solution, okay, so its solution, <coughs> distance equals, distance equals V, What's V? 340 meter per second multiplied by 1.4 second. So what's answer? Its answer is how many? Its answer is 476 meter. 476 
meter. But we, we must write here 2D. Why we must write here 2D? Because sound he uh, he heard sound after 1.4 seconds. So it is going and it is coming back. So what's total distance? 2D, yes? So therefore 2D equals 476 and D equals 200 to 238 meters. Okay, so that's the solution of this question. Pause the video and copy the solution on your notebook. Okay, let's continue. Okay. <clears throat> Sound refraction. Look at the refraction of sound. So the sound produced by person A may be heard more clearly by person B than by person C. The, the cooler air over the water refracts the sound wave downwards. Downwards. Okay. So it's called refraction of sound. This is called refraction of sound. So sound uh, is longitudinal wave, but it can uh, be reflected and refracted. Okay, it can be reflected and refracted. Okay, uh, the roll. That's end of second lesson. Okay, see you on the third lesson. Take care.